Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders with me, Get Daved. Um, off camera, I did a very tiny little thing. I just fought off a wave of monsters because that was the next thing we were prompted to do. And now onward with our mission to fight the Mag Malice, I think. Memory's a little foggy. We're gonna go fight him and see what happens. And we're off to a great start. All right, that's good. Just took a 54 episode break. We'll uh, just stretch that out. Leave it in, because you know what? We're all about truth here. Just finished playing through Final Fantasy 15. If that is remotely interesting to you, you can check that out check that out. Otherwise, uh, you know, sorry for bringing a distraction. Alright, let's see how we can do against these guys. Not too worried about the brownies. One stroke. Alright, off to a good start. The good news is I totally remember all of the controls. Oh, you're toast, buddy. Well, things don't look good. Giant flaming hand is defeated. Hmm. Oh. Well, the good news is we've defeated the Mag Malice and won the chapter. We're gonna have to be careful. I've been playing FF15, so I've picked up some bad habits like pressing different buttons on the controller. Yeah, the reason I mention it is because. Way back in the day, when FF12 came out, I was playing uh, Xenosaga 3 and really enjoying it, but FF12 came out, so I thought I had, you know, it's Final Fantasy, I gotta prioritize it. So I stopped playing it, and then, yeah, binged through Final Fantasy 12, and at the end, I uh, was actually kind of disappointed with the game. Uh, that's also, the night I beat FF12 is also the worst night of my life is I got really sick. Uh, the sickest I've ever been in like a discreet incident and I vomited over 100 times over the course of 10 hours and then finally went to the hospital. Yep. Oh, I kind of used an Aurora Blade, but whatever. Well, it was just a hand. Why don't you want to go to his old laboratory? My goodness, we got 25 hit points worth we're packing down there. I'm just gonna use one right now, because our total is pretty low, all considered. Well, do we, there we go, we do have a quest. Oh yeah, this game has crafting. Well, thanks for stringing me along, then. Good news, everyone! Oh, level up the town? Oh, okay. What's his blueprint? Lovely jubbly. <laughs> nice. Galileo's ultimate weapon. Okay. Well, it's very circumspect of you, Glutamus.
And we got food. Ooh. Can make ourselves a saloon. The Ironmonger Studio. I don't know what this is, or where I'll put it. Got so many primo locations already taken. We could go a second level above the kitchen, I suppose. I mean, that doesn't seem in the spirit of it. It's a bar. Okay, what we'll do... Yeah. Old Get Dave's got a plan. Let's see if I remember how to play this game for real. Actually, you know what? We're gonna need that, uh, that earth. We're gonna need all of the earth. Because I want to build this, even though I'm pretty sure we're on... Oh, we're not even on level 5. Perfect. Gonna need some steps. a second level above the kitchen. That's just to give it some visibility, and I might try putting some windows in or something. The fact is, we are probably done with it for the chapter, unless, like, you know, we have a really specific crafting mission coming up. Yeah, great timing, thank you. What we'll do is put a little roof on it. A happy little roof. Whoa! They appeared in the base. Seriously uncool game. Yeah, they were... There's like no other way they could have gotten in there. Uh, why is it an empty room now? I picked up a thing. Okay, hopefully it's just a chest. Getting a little alarmed. It's a lot of stuff I don't remember picking up just now. Okay, there we go. Now what other horrible things did I miss? As long as the roller coaster's okay, everything's fine. Great success. All right, for real now. Gonna need some more stone steps, but that's fine. Also might need to reconfigure a couple tiny little things, but that's also, I don't think gonna be a deal breaker at any point. Maybe I can put in one of those glass ceilings people keep talking about. They seem all right. Okay, please tell me it's wide enough. Just barely. My goodness. Uh, I will shove it back one, though. You know what, if we're gonna build ourselves a happy little bar with a useless door on the side, we're gonna do it right. 42, a cell door on the side just to lock off the back. 
brick barbecue. We could move the kitchen up here. I think I might do it. But it can wait a little longer. First things first, we're gonna do, uh, take care of our cladding situation and our flooring kits. I think we'll keep going with the uh, the combo. There we go. The kitchen's gonna be like deserted after this. And I don't mean that in a puntastic way and you better not have heard it. See, I feel like it's a little goofy to just have uh, one tile that's like de-elevated. And some math might work out really fortuitously as well. Let's just take a quick look. I'm pretty sure I'm at the wrong thing. There we go, yeah, so we're gonna make five. Oh, it's tempting, because I could smash those three. All right. It's a little weird right now. We could make it like full width or something. We'll see. We'll see about that. All right, let's place some earth. cell door on hand. I don't know if I bothered taking one, but there was an opportunity really recently. Alright, gonna need some... Oh yeah, the brick barbecue in the chest. Rendering this entire structure useless. Oh, we'll have both. The chef tirelessly works in the kitchen down below. Okay, we still have a bunch of sconces on hand. Good. We might run out of wood if I'm not careful. Don't make me cut down my trees. All right, we're just gonna go get some the uh, easy way, I think, given the options. I swear I'm gonna take the right one one of these times. <laughs> Great start. No, that's the right one. I thought it was winter here. Get David is very confused. I was operating on the assumption, though, that the red one came second, which is 
or that it came first, because I was thinking something that wasn't true. If you look at the color theme here, I think we can all agree it totally should be blue. Alright, let's dance. Oh, you can't get away from me. I'm gonna make a matching rug. Yeah, that's right, I have a Pow Yowie rug. I'll cut down this immature tree. I will show it for not growing fast enough. Alright, that should be enough for, I don't know, maybe the foreseeable future. It's not actually how you're supposed to use the word should, since I immediately followed it up with a, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we totally should have just renovated the kitchen. Oh, well. A meat feast? I'm not as excited about that one. Oh, these are all the contents of the chests. I don't need to freak out anymore. It took me a little while to get there, but it happened. Cell door. I don't know, we'll throw these down for now. Saloon door, lantern, brick barbecue chest. So much stuff. You can just see all the points. Hope we don't need any lumber, or I'm going to be kicking myself. We do have... no! No chest! What a shame. these up and track down the saloon door as well. Yeah, well, it seemed easy to find this time. Give yourself 10 get Dave points for inevitably being faster than me. If I have any of those on hand, but I can make them easily enough. Our meat feast. And the actual uh, implements. Well, where do we make a meat feast? If not here, then where? jump through some hoops. We need a bonfire. I wouldn't mind if they would, like, shortcut these sorts of things. I think I've said that already, though. And... Oh, yeah! Rather fetching feminine side.
yeah, well, uh, have fun with that. All the best. Oh yeah, and before I forget, recipes. Okay, where's the meat feast? I don't find you yet. I've probably cycled past it three times and people are getting frustrated, but that's the game, folks. I don't see it. getting thoroughly embarrassing. Maybe I have to research or like track it down. I didn't even consider that for a moment. Well, I guess that's gonna be our new priority. As soon as I grab a lantern, which we have lots of. <laughs> It's a barbecue kitchen. It's a start. Level 5 is kind of nice, I suppose. Oh, Lantern, where art thee? So you'd think it would be by the sconce light, but uh, apparently not. to run all the way back there because they're probably in that treasure chest. Oh game, you've duped me again, but you know what? There's no hurry because we're having ourselves a dandy, a gay old time. Let's get attacked. Anything about me? Oh, don't be paranoid. If there's an enemy at the gates, prepare Jude Law. All right, up and at them. I feel even less bad for editing out a fight. Alright, these guys are chumps. Alright, but they're probably more than I can handle. Apparently. Yeah, now that little trap does hurt my own people as often as anyone else. So that's how you know it's a good trap. for that. My pecs are a match for anyone. Still a nice place in there. Okay, we've got three phases of monsters, but I'm predicting we're gonna see another Meg Malice hand at the end there. It's not locking on to him. Well, knock him into the pit. Of 
think we're hitting him from here. It's kind of hard to tell. Armor so good that it doesn't really matter. Almost. Good work, team. We've done it. Oh, right. Okay, the frost burns are of utterly no consequence. when we were able to just get a point blank attack and see. Aside from the absurd number of hit points, this should be fine. Welcome back to button mashing with me, Get Dave. Gotta get the backboard and then I can just stand there forever. Alright, let's dance. You leave one hole. Alright. I got all day, pal. But not much of the night, to be honest. That's when I get scared. If a ghost shows up, he'll be able to do a lot more damage than this jump. Yeah, I got like a ruby of protection and stuff, buddy. So combat! Oh, night's coming. And the base is looking great. There you go. Last area, everybody. And we've got a great banner to boot. Yay! Next time.